Welcome back to this vlog guys. Today I wanted to explain to you a bit more about what's happening with the Church of Lucifer, especially since my appointment as the 34th generation High Priest of the Church. So as we all know, Freddie Cook has um, headed the Church of Lucifer um, following the demise of Reverend Stills for a considerable number of years and recently has handed over the COL to myself. So what is our plan? What do we envisage to do? Where do we intend to go with this? My vision is to propagate Luciferianism and the ideology behind Luciferianism across the world. How are we doing this? We're doing this by having representatives in, in various countries, people that will be ordained as reverends of the Church of Lucifer, that will go forth and propagate and teach Luciferianism to all those that are interested and willing to learn. We are also looking into establishing physical churches in some countries. Hopefully as time goes by and the movement keeps growing, the more churches will be able to open in different countries and more activities that can take place. From my point of view, I would like to see Luciferianism brought more to the mainstream. And when I say the mainstream, is that it doesn't and does not remain a taboo topic whereby people seem to look down, look at Luciferianism as some sort of a wrong, we can even use the word evil, organization, evil institution. We all know that this is not so, that Luciferianism in itself, the ideology, the practice and everything else that is around it, in no way does it propagate what people denote as evil. All it does is offer an alternative point of view to the way people see, perceive life and also themselves. It helps people grow spiritually, believe in themselves more and it gives a different perspective to the reality that has been created by the Catholic and Christian institution. So currently the COL um, structure lies as follows. So there is myself that heads the COL worldwide. We then have the tribunal which is made up of three members which help the high priest look after the affiliates the degree structure, the teachings, and the day-to-day -day business of the Church of Lucifer. The COL has also got other layers, um, where you have the Order of the Dracul on one side, and then you have the Pendle Witch Coven on the other side. The Pendle Witch Coven have been instructed with creating a school of magic, and that will be open for all those people that would like to learn more and understand occult sciences and practices. The Dracul deals with vampiric magic and vampiric tradition and everything else that falls under that remit, sanguinarians and so forth, and that will also have its place in the structure of the COL worldwide. So following this, what we will be trying to do and what we would like to achieve is to make sure that we can keep on delivering messages in creating workshops, in establishing physical churches where people can come and practice their belief, their ideology, their intent in a place where they can feel and call home. So in a nutshell, that's where we're heading. Of course, it's early days. Um, as you know, the COL had grown massively um, many years ago. And then 
had withered away, had gone underground for a while, and then resurfaced recently, resurfaced with uh, the involvement of myself and Freddy. Um, time came when Freddy decided to, after many years of, of, of dedicated service, to withdraw from the scene and operate in the background. We respect that, as we respect Freddy a lot. Uh, we all know what he brought to Luciferianism. So now we move forward. We move forward and hopefully we will attain the vision that we had set and that was set by Reverend Stills many years ago in putting Luciferianism on the forefront of everything that is of note in this current world.